Claude Dockery Sr. was a man of the land, and after decades of work on his Pot County farm, he had one request before he passed. The story I'm told is he said, you know, he dug in the soil all of his life. He wasn't going to be buried in the soil. Luckily, a couple decades before his death, a mausoleum had been erected at the Fairview Cemetery in Shawnee. Claude was the first in his family to be interred, but not the last. Over the decades, 11 Dockeries have been laid to rest inside. But the 11th, passing earlier this month, did not end up where she had planned. When we got here, they went inside, then they came outside and said, well, we can't use that spot. The reason? The area around Cousin Kilty's crypt is crumbling and buckling with no plans for repair. It was very perplexing and I mean, it was uh, really frustrating. While the Fairview Mausoleum was likely a palace in its heyday, the structure today is anything but. The outside clearly aged by years of neglect. The inside locked to the public for safety, but busted out windows give a peek to the final resting place of 120 souls. I haven't been able to go in for some time. I have asthma and the mold and everything is so bad inside that it's not really fit for people to be able to go in there and be safe. How this came to be is complicated. While the Fairview Cemetery is city owned and maintained, the mausoleum in the middle is privately owned run by the Tiemann family as part of the Fairview Mausoleum Association for decades. But with the passing of Mr. and Mrs. Tiemann, ownership passed to their two out-of-state sons. Funding dried up. The building withered away. Why is this not being taken care of? Um, <laughs> money. <laughs> it's very expensive. The association has tried for years to pass ownership to Shawnee, a proposition discussed by city commissioners last April. We can't maintain something we don't own, so that thing is set for the last eight years and just slowly worsen. Estimating it would take at least $600,000 to repair, commissioners voted to accept ownership. And motion passes 7-0. Less than a year later, just earlier this month, city commissioners did a 180. I move that the city of Shawnee revoke the April 5th, 2021 acceptance of the mausoleum building. So why the about face? Shawnee city manager tells News 4 it's because the Mausoleum Association did not hold up their end of the bargain. We were approached by the Mausoleum Trust saying there are $30,000 left for maintenance and we would be happy to turn over the records if you would accept the building. Since then, neither the funds were turned over nor any of the records. Instead, the association came with a new request that the city indemnify the association and accept full liability for the mausoleum. But without any records, the city says they have no idea what they'd be agreeing to take on. Above and beyond knowing that the building has to be perpetually maintained and the crypts have to be maintained. There could be other conditions that we would have been entered into taking on. It's like signing a blank contract and that is just not doable from the city's perspective. So it's back to negotiations for the city and the trust, but families like the Dockeries still own unfilled crypts and Claude's daughter Vivian is now 84. What happens now? We don't know. We don't know. Uh, again, my, my aunt's on hospice. Um, we could lose her at any time. All must now wait, hoping a resolution hasn't crumbled completely. It is much less about the building, but it is a, it's about doing right by those people who thought that they had a final resting place and now that is in jeopardy.